here at ATI we kind of figure our, our, our magic's in aerial technologies. Um, we do inspections, we do you know, mapping, surveying, and of course then you know, a lot of that's used for agricultural purposes. We deal with government entities and, and universities and, and public entities and, and private you know, customers who have all kinds of different uses for imagery. When, when we first started flying with, with these drones and aircraft, you know, it seemed like kind of peanut butter and jelly to put a camera on there. And it's always kind of been, well, what's the next device? What's the next thing that we can kind of, you know, put under one of these? Now we can see in a, in a medium that we can't really see with our, or with our own eyes. With that new information that we can get from FLIR technology, we can fix inefficiencies. I was putting normal full-size FLIR cameras underneath my helicopters and doing roofing inspections. Uh, in fact, the University of Arizona, I set a FLIR machine up for them to do water hydrology sampling from like two or three thousand feet over the desert. They were able to get imagery up there and map that with the FLIR camera to see how the earth is actually absorbing and transmitting the water through it, which I would never even knew existed. So for me it was enabling my customers to fly safe and to have a device that's going to serve their purpose. I learned a lot in you know, all the different types of payloads people started coming and knocking on our door and FLIR was definitely one of those right in the beginning that was you know, going to the top of the charts real quick.